friends, I'm Corinne from Bristol CBD and the Colon Care Centre and today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious little keto chocolate energy bites and um, so in the Bristol CBD household myself and Mark have been uh, attempting the ketogenic diet over the last week and uh, partly out of curiosity um, partly because my work is related to digestive health and so I really like to try these new ways of eating. And for those of you who don't know much about the ketogenic diet or aren't that familiar with it, it's essentially a very high fat and very, very low carb diet. So we've been eating about 20 grams of carbs per day, which is a tiny, tiny amount, and a lot of heavy fatty foods. And it can be quite difficult to really get your fat content up. So these little energy bites are a really amazing way to do that. And equally, you'll probably find on the keto diet that you'll have a lot of carb cravings, you'll want that little bit of a sweet fix. And so this is a really, really good way to satisfy that. So we've got really simple um, ingredients. We, um, the main one is a nut butter. So you can use any nut butter of your choice. And I'm gonna go for almond butter here because it's my favorite. But these ones, which we made yesterday, have got a mix of both almond and uh, peanut butter in. Or you could just grind your own nuts and then add a little bit of more oil to compensate. Um, these ones were a little bit too oily for my liking. So in those, I added half a cup of nut butter and a quarter cup of coconut oil. But today I'm going to half the amount of coconut oil. So we've got a, a half a cup of butter and I'm just using about an eighth of a cup of um, gently heated coconut oil. So that's been melted down. And then the other ingredient is our um, cacao powder. And we've got about a quarter of a cup of cacao powder there. So we just pop it all in a bowl and we mix it all together. And then we want to add something to sweeten it. And we ha I have a choice of, we're limited with our sweeteners when it comes to keto because most sweeteners naturally contain a lot of carbohydrates. So the choices we have are stevia, which these ones have been made with. And we would tend to always use a, a whole leaf stevia in this household because we generally try to support whole plant products in the same way that we like to promote our whole plant Bristol CBD oil because we think that whole plant has all of the constituents that make it the most healthy that it possibly can be. So this one's got stevia in. Uh, if you haven't used stevia before, it's a it's a green powder if it's whole if it's whole plant and it has a slightly bitter aftertaste. It's very very sweet. I can't remember how many times more how many times sweeter than sugar it is, but it's something like 30 times sweeter than sugar. So it's incredibly sweet and you only need a little bit of it, but even that tiny little bit can make the um, the mixture taste a little bit bitter. So this this one here only had a teaspoon of stevia and for me it's a little bit much and I am not mad keen on the aftertaste. So today we're going to repeat the recipe but we're going to use erythritol which was one of our other choices of sweetener. Erythritol is an alcohol sugar or sugar alcohol and so the body doesn't absorb it as a carbohydrate so it has zero carbs in it and therefore it's a fantastic substitute to use when you're on a keto diet. Unlike a lot of the other alcohol sugars, there's been a lot of um, debate about how safe they are, and although they don't raise blood sugar levels, some of them do mess with insulin levels. Erythritol has had a lot of research done on it, and to date there's been nothing to suggest that it messes with either blood sugar levels or insulin levels. Um, so that's why I'm going to use this one today. It has a much more neutral flavour than stevia. It really just tastes like sugar. It's, it has about the 70% of the sweetness of sugar, so you maybe need to add a little bit more to get up to the sweetness of one teaspoon of sugar. So that's what we're going to use today. And what I've actually found is that it seems to work better in a lot of recipes if you pop it in a blender and you make a powder with it. So essentially, it will be like a caster sugar. And we've made some raw chocolate using this powdered erythritol, which tasted actually really, really yummy and gives you that little bit of chocolate fix that you might need. 
that I certainly need <laughs> when I'm doing a keto diet. So we're going to pop all of these ingredients in a bowl, give them a good mix up. And then at the end, we're going to add a little bit of CBD oil. And really how much you add depends on how strong you want it to be. So I just want these to be quite gentle. So I'll probably add about half a pipette full. So that coconut oil is going in there. And I'm gonna give this a little mix up to start with just to try and get this nut butter a little bit more liquidy. a really really oily nut butter then you maybe don't need to add as much coconut oil and equally if your nut butter is really dry then maybe you want to add the full quarter cup or even a little bit more coconut oil in there so we're just mixing it all together like so so basically we've got a really really oily nut butter there and then into that we're going to add a little bit of this so bearing in mind that this is not quite as sweet as sugar. Um, I haven't used this before for this recipe, so I'm gonna add maybe, maybe like two teaspoons. And we'll give that a little mix up. I'm gonna add a little bit of our gold Bristol CBD 5% oil. We use the gold for cooking because it has a very neutral flavour, so you don't get the bitter aftertaste that you do get with a lot of the others. And it's perfect with these little fat bombs because that's uh, oil and it's going into coconut oil which makes it that little bit more absorbable. And then the last ingredient goes in, so we're popping the chocolate powder in. Pure cacao powder this is, so it has no other additives whatsoever. Ooh. Maybe could have done with a little bit of a bigger bubble here. But... <coughs> there we go. So you've got this thick, sticky mixture. So yeah, it was definitely runny when I made it with a uh, runnier when I made it with an eighth of a cup. But that, but these ones are like I say, they're quite oily and they would really need to be in the freezer to stop them from melting. So we've gone with the thicker ones today and hopefully we can just store those in the fridge. You can see this is quite a thick, gooey consistency. And then once you've mixed it all together, pop it into your little moulds and you can use anything here. You can use ice cube moulds. What I'm going to do actually, and this looks a bit messy, but this is technique that I learned a long time ago when I was learning to make raw chocolate is if you just pop it into the mould like so and then you get a flatula, a, a, <laughs> flatula, a spatula and use the flat head edge of it you can literally just scrape the mixture into the other moulds and it saves quite a bit of time so we're just going to pop that in there as well and then once this is all in the moulds pop it in the freezer you only need to leave it in there for about half an hour and then it should go quite hard and then once it's set you can pop them out of the moulds and you'll end up with lots of beautiful little chocolate energy bombs just like so. And if you're somebody that loves playing with different flavours then you could add a little bit of chilli powder, you might like to add a little bit of salt to your mixture. Or if you use um, oils for flavouring, so we, for example, in this house, we like to use food grade essential oils. And we use two different companies. We use doTERRA and they have a fantastic range of edible oils. Go very, very easy with them. If you are using them in food, you literally would need probably like one drop in a bowl of this size. This, so yeah, just be very, very, very careful with them. The other brand that we use are, um, are they called Natural Organics? Uh, NHR. NHR, yeah. NHR Organics. And they're, uh, they're a UK, I think they're East Sussex based company, all organic, food grade oils, and they're really, really affordable as well. 
and uh, we, we've had quite a few of our oils and we've been really, really impressed with them. So yeah, if you want to add a little bit of extra yumminess to the mix, then a little bit of orange oil or citrus, or you might even go for something really yummy like cardamom or cinnamon or um, ginger or something like so. There we go. So we're just going to scrape off the excess there. And that's my little spare bit to have a little treat in a minute. Enjoy, guys. And if you like the video, uh, click below and please subscribe. Enjoy your day.